Hello everyone, I'm Landon Schlungen. Today we're going to learn Nano by Building a Castle. It's only 40 lesson course, so it shouldn't be too bad. It's kind of like Vim, if you've ever used Vim before. And we'll get started. Alright, I've actually never used Nano before, so this will be new for me. But this definitely is not new for me. All we have to do is echo Hello Nano for the first problem. Hello Nano. There we go. And we can move on with Control Enter. And now we're going to create a bash script. All right, awesome. Touch, castle, except I think we're going to edit it inside of our terminal. That's my guess. Use the ls command to make sure your file's there. Yep, it is. Uh, Nano is a program for editing files that runs in the terminal. Uh, uh, you can open a file with Nano file name, and then you can edit that with, uh, with Nano. And open the castle.sh file you created with Nano. So we can do, you know, uh, carousel, castle.sh. There we go. And now we're inside of their little editor. And there's nothing in it right now. At least there shouldn't be. Now the terminal is showing uh, your file in nano. At the bottom are the commands you can use. All right, so it's showing me what I can use. And I should probably move this up a little bit. Mark text, copy text. Yep. The file is empty right now. Add echo hello nano at the top and press control O to write out or save. So I think I can just write right now, I guess. Echo hello nano at the top. And then I press control O to write out or save the file. You will be prompted at the bottom for a file name. Leave it as castle.sh and press enter to save the file. Press enter. Yeah. All right, cool. Exit Nano by pressing Control X. Control X, exit there, and now that should be edited. Uh, this will be a small bash script. You can run it with bash file name, run your castle.sh file. Bash uh, castle.sh. There we go, hello Nano. Sweet. You can see the command in your file ran and output text in the terminal. Open your file again with Nano. Nano castle. All right. You can cut text with Control plus K. Move the cursor to the line with your text and remove the whole line. Uh, when you're done, save the file with Control. Oh, oh, so that's cool. Uh, that's kind of like uh, VS Code, except VS Code is Control Shift K. Uh, and then we can exit or Control O, save it or write out, and then press Enter. Note that you cannot use a mouse to move your cursor. Yeah. Okay. You are going to draw a castle that you can print to the terminal. Add echo uh, to your file. Put an empty line in between two quotes like this. All right, let's do that. Echo, this, and then enter, enter, quote. What else? When you're done, save the file. Control O, enter, sweet. Uh, you will draw the castle between the quotes. Add ground level by putting 20 underscores in the row between the quotes. Uh, seriously, you're going to make me count? Okay. 20 underscores, uh, one, shoot, I did control minus, whoops, control plus, yeah, yeah. Uh, 20 underscores, shift, there we go, uh, how many is that, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, control O, and then enter, hey, there we go, I did it right, the caret in front of all the commands at the bottom means to press control, mm -hmm. Okay, and the letter to run the command, exit nano with the exit command, All right. which is control X. Huh. Cool. Use bash command to run your castle. Castle, I did cache, bash, castle. There we go, just a line. Looks like it's working. Open your file with nano. All right, nano, castle, again. Um, and then add a vertical bar pipe at the end of each ground level. I can move my cursor with uh, my arrows, so that's kind of cool. And just add some pipes. All right, and then probably save it with Control O. And then Enter. Cool. Add another story to your castle above the ground level that has two more vertical bars. All right. Each bar should be above your existing bar, so you need spaces between them. Should look like that. All right, so Enter and then add a bar. And another bar. Oh, I have to add spaces, don't I? Shoot. Okay, spaces. And then another bar. Okay, cool. And then Control O. 
probably, I'm guessing. Yep, okay. X and nano, so you can run the script again. So control X, and then, gosh, bash castle. There we go, and we see our progress, awesome. Open your file again, add some more. Nano castle sh. Uh, we need to cut and uncut. Okay, control K to cut and control plus U to uncut or paste the line. Add five more rows like the one you just added to make your castle six stories high. Try to use the cut and paste method. Okay, interesting. So I can go control X on this line and then do control U to paste it a bunch of times. All right, one, two, three, four, five. How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, control U again. And when you're done, save the file. So control O and enter okay cool the existing top row is going to be the roof of the castle make it look like this okay so I'll go up here i can enter and then pipe space space pipe i don't know how many spaces that is but it looks like two um just make it like this okay okay i think that's right huh Oh yeah, two spaces, nice. And then 14 underscores, and then save the file. Okay, control O, enter. Darn it, it's not drawn correctly, are you kidding me? Uh, add then a repeat of the bar and spaces when you're done, save the file. Uh, the existing top row is gonna be the roof. That's not right, are you serious? It looks right to me. There's two spaces. Did I add a space accidentally? No, uh, whoops. Oops, I did something else. Um, ba -ba -boo. Cancel, control C, shift pipe. Um, hmm. Control O, enter. It's not drawn correctly. Oh, I think, uh, I think I have to get rid of one of these lines actually. So maybe control K on one of the lines and then do control O. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I see. The M at the beginning of the other commands at the bottom stands for meta. It's a key that doesn't exist on most keyboards. If you're in, on OS X or Mac, Mac OS X, it means press escape, then the letter. If you're on another system, press alt, then the letter. Use the exit command to get back to the terminal. All right. We'll just do exit then, control X. Run the script to make sure things are, are coming along as expected. Bash castle. There we go. That construction team must be working hard. Uh -huh. Open the file again to continue building. And I'll castle. Uh, the top of the castle has a lookout tower on each end. Add a single row at the top to make it look like that. Okay. Add a single row at the top. So we'll go shift. Uh, actually, this one is a forward slash. And a couple of spaces and a backslash. And then, you know, just one space, backslash. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what they say. The slashes are directly above the vertical bars. Okay. So it is two spaces. And then I actually don't need that. I need spaces. And then it's forward slash and a backslash. There we go. Control O. Control O. Enter. Okay, cool. Awesome. Add the peaks of your lookout towers. Uh, put another row at the top with that above each lookout. It should look like that. All right. So enter. We need another uh, space and then slash and then slash and then a bunch of spaces. Uh, slash and backslash. All right. Control O. Enter. Awesome. Go back to the terminal with the exit command. Control X. Run your script to bask in the glory of your work. Bash castle. And it does not look great. Uh, looks like a storm came through and blew off the roof. I think we can fix it. Open up the file. You know, castle. Okay, how do we fix this? I'm not quite sure what happened here. Some of the slashes don't seem to be working. Try adding a space after the two slashes on the top where you look out tower. Put them where the X's are. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, let's go over here, space, and then space here. Okay, control O. Save that. 
go back to the terminal, control X, and then run it. So bash castle. Hey, it looks right. Awesome. Uh, open the file again, nano castle. And then add some windows to your castle. Use the left and right bracket for them. Put three pairs on the fourth story. On the fourth story. All right. One, two, three, four. This one. And then we need our windows. Like so. Um, something like that. I think. Okay. There's four spaces between each window. I think this is right. Control O. Darn it, it's not drawn correctly. Fourth story. That's the fourth story, right? Um, is this correct? Uh, wait, how many spaces between them? There's four spaces between each window and three between the window and sides. I only put two there, I guess. Okay, so I need another space here. Another space here. And then delete one in here, delete one in here. Now, control O, enter. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Um, <laughs> I need a hint. What does it have to look like? Um, should look like this. Yeah. Good. Oh, there is one line that's empty in front. Okay. Ah, screw you. So I actually have to remove these, I guess, and put them one further down. Okay, let's do that. One, two, three. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then that's three, okay. I think that's right. Control O, enter. There we go. Now it's right. All right, last is the door. Change the bottom two rows so there's a door right in the middle like that. All right, so let's go down here. Oh, oh I see. It was hiding some of it. That's why I got confused. Ah, burn. Okay, well, let's delete some of this and put some spaces in there. Uh, is that right? I think I got to add an extra space. Actually, no, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe add that. No. Okay, and then we have to add two vertical bars. Oh, okay, I gotta add a vertical bar here. Vertical bars, and then go up one and add some dashes. All right, that should work. Control Enter or Control O. And then enter. There we go. Nano has a lot more features, but the basics will get you through in most scenarios. Go back to the terminal with command to exit nano. Control X. And then run it. Uh, bash castle. And there we go. I think. Uh, open the file. I think there's one more thing you need to add. I keep thinking we're going to be done. Castle. Right at the very top of the file, add another echo command with two quotes and an empty line between the quotes. Uh, let me actually zoom out so I can see this whole thing. All right, add another echo command with two quotes and an empty line between the quotes. In the empty line, put the message, welcome to my castle. Here's an example uh, at the very top. All right, so add an echo with a thing here with welcome to my castle. Welcome to my castle. And then and that on the fear. Okay. Control O. Enter. Awesome. Go back to the terminal with the exit command. Control X. And then uh, bash castle. Uh, go back with Control X. I need to run this. Uh, go back to the terminal with the X command. I did. Um, X, you know. Okay, I'll just open it and close it. And then control X. Here we go. Alright, this is the last step. Run the script to see the final product. Oh yeah. There we go. We built a beautiful castle. What's the next thing we have up? 
Let's see here. We have to do uh, learn Git by building a SQL reference object. And this is a 240 lesson course, but Git is very important to know. So that should be fun. I'm pretty good with Git, so it should be a good thing to do. And if you like the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.